coming to story number 2 recently i came across one of my seniors she had done her mbbs and after that she got into a post graduation uh, surgical career uh, she tried to get into that but due to the busy hectic schedule she was not finding her passion and uh, she was not having much of the personal time in that surgical career so she started looking for alternative career options while practicing as a consultant itself then uh, i do not know how she got this wonderful idea she uh, came across the a course of psychology uh, from a distant education center the classes are conducted uh, through zoom meetings and then you will be issued a proper course certificate stating that you are a professional psychologist she has completed her course she created all the she cleared all the levels and she started practicing as a psychologist in the opd and initially she was not having uh, much of the attention but gradually people started noticing her and right now currently she is a uh, full time psychology practitioner she runs her opd and she earns a decent amount of money for living through the same opd the point of this story is there are many people who might feel that i had take taken a wrong decision selecting uh, this particular branch and later on regretting that i had done a great mistake in life particularly in my career so there are many examples where people had rectified that mistake feeling by getting into alternative career options coming to story number 3 this story is about a very senior super senior i would say a person of a senior consultant range who had given almost 10 years of his life uh, to a icu in a corporate hospital but later on he came to know that this working in a closed icu is not giving him a uh, personal and professional satisfaction so he started searching for other way of options then he uh, tried to explore himself and then he came to know that he is having uh, uh, this characteristics of an entrepreneur so he thought about it he discussed with his family and he uh, got to know that there are there is a deficiency in the medical transportation system uh, through the ambulances so he wanted to uh, get into that line of work and then initially he started with the two ambulances on rent and then gradually he started growing in that line uh um, currently he is owning around uh, 15 to 20 ambulances and uh, 10 to 15 ambulances on uh rent basis so he is uh, into this business along with his family um uh, he started with uh, zero knowledge and he found his niche and then currently that is his the uh, only income source and uh, he had stopped practicing uh, as icu consultant and uh, currently uh, he is the leader in that field of uh, medical transportation uh, for a particular zone uh, the purpose of this story is also the same that um, you have many other options other than the classical way of uh, cracking the neat exam getting to the post post graduation and uh, 
uh, getting into this line of practice there are many other options like these stories so give it a thought don't find that as deviation or uh, any kind of distraction from your goal you never know it is always advisable to give a thought before getting into uh, the branch also so in the same way it is i advise to give it a thought before getting into the clinical practice hopefully this video might be helping the people who are uh, looking for such kind of stories keep subscribed and follow for more videos